WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in four subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. But remember, they're not just here to test their knowledge, they're also here to test their speed. Let's get ready to meet our contestants and get the competition started. Contestant number one, can, can you tell us your name, age, and school, please? Hi, my name is Ocean Suknan, and I am 11 years old, and I attend Coim Academy. Welcome. Contestant number two? My name is Danielle Holder, and I attend Grimms Hall Primary School. I am 10 years old. Awesome. Contestant number three? Hi, my name is Jan Kasun. I am 10 years old, and I attend Marion Academy. All right, welcome, contestants. Now, you would have been privy to the rules before the competition, but just for good measure, I'll go through them once more. All right? Yes. If you have any questions, kindly let me know. So there are four categories of questions, mathematics, science, English, and social studies. The host, which is me, will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzers. That's the white wrong thing in front of you. Once the question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Remember, it's very, very important that you wait until I'm finished reading the question in order to press your buzzer because it will not be registered otherwise. All right? Okay. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system. And I will then call on that contestant so this is the buzzer system. Once your number shows up here, I will call on you and you'll be allowed to answer the question. All right. Once called upon by me, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded five points and be allowed to select the category for the new question. If the contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and then select the category for the next question. Once a total of 40 questions have been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of the competition. However, if any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories following the same rules as outlined. Okay? Understand? Yes. All right. Yes, yes, Ready to get the competition started? Yes, yes, miss. All right. Let's start with English, please. But, or, yet, so, are examples of what? Contestant number two. They are examples of conjunctions. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, maths. Carlos had 450 marbles and he gave 30% of them to his friend Rayon. How many marbles does he have remaining? Contestant number one. 100. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be 315. They asked for how many was remaining. All right, let's proceed to science, please. What is the feeding series in which a kiskadi eats a grasshopper that ate a grass plant called... Contestant number three. Um, it is called a food chain. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, science, please. The green pigment in leaves that help them to carry out photosynthesis is called something. Contestant number three. Um, chlorophyll. That is correct. Remember, you need to wait until the question is completely read. All right? Um, go ahead and select social next studies. Category. What is the least populated natural region? Contestant number three. The Highland region. Yes, we'll accept it. However, the full name would have been the Forested Highland region. All right? Okay. Please select the next category. Um, English. What punctuation symbol is used to join two related independent clauses in place of a comma and a coordinating conjunction? Contestant number one. A uh, pronoun? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We asked for a punctuation symbol. That would be a semicolon or a semicolon. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. 
Before the National Assembly starts, the Sergeant at Arms places the mace on a table in the chamber. What does this action signify? Contestant number two. It signifies that the National Assembly is in session. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, stay in social studies. Why is English the official language of Guyana? Contestant number two. It is the official language of Guyana because the British were the last set of Europeans that last had dominion over Guyana. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. Guyana is separated from which country by the Iring and Takutu River? Contestant number one. Brazil. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. Which mineral is associated with the legend of El Dorado? Contestant number two. Gold. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies still. Why is it important to remember the work of Hubert Nathaniel Critchlow? Contestant number three. It's because he started trade unions. Why? So that workforce, so that workforce could be paid fair and treated fairly. Okay, we'll accept that answer. It's because he advocated for the rights of workers. All right. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, mathematics, please. When 35 is added to the LCM of 3 and 5, the result is... Contestant number 3. 50. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, science, please. Which gas is released from the human body during respiration? Contestant number 2. Carbon dioxide. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. The moon travels around the Earth. The moon can be called a hand. Contestant number three. A natural satellite. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, social studies, please. A thrilling cricket match between the West Indies and Sri Lanka is happening at the Kensington Oval. In which CARICOM country is this exciting match taking place? Contestant number three. Barbados. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English, please. What is the plural of sheep? Contestant number one. Sheep. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which individual currently holds the position of head of state in Guyana? Contestant number three. Um, doc Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, or the president of Guyana, the executive president. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, mathematics, please. If 6,420 times width equal 4,815, then width represents something. All right, no one attempted to answer that question. The correct answer would be three quarters or 0 0.75. All right, let's proceed to science, please. Something gives the skin color. Contestant number one. Melanin. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Social studies. What is the primary function of the Guyana Elections Commission? Contestant number one. To select a, a new leader for the country. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. They don't select the leader. They organize and conduct the elections to ensure free and fair elections. All right? Elections process. Let's proceed to English, please. What word is used to describe the formation of words through imitation of a sound? Contestant number one. Onomatopoeia. That is correct. Contestants, remember, I need to finish reading the question before your budget buzzer is registered. All right, go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Deer eats grass, jaguar eats deer. In the food web, which is a primary consumer? Contestant number one. Deer. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Please. Stay in science, please. What is it called when birds fly to warmer climates for the winter? Contestant number three. Migration. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English, please. Instead of saying joy, we can substitute it with contestant number one. Happy. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Define ejection. 
Contestant number two. Getting rid of waste. What kind of waste? Um, solid and liquid waste. I'm sorry, the answer we were looking for is unabsorbed waste, all right? The way you described can also be interpreted as excretion, okay? All right, let's proceed to mathematics, please. Danielle bought seven oranges for $850. How much would 21 oranges cost? Contestant number three. Um, $2,550. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English, please. Choose the most suitable word to complete the sentence. A something of African bees was spotted in the tree. Contestant number one. A swarm. That is correct. Contestant number two, I get that you want to answer, but we have to be fair to everyone, all right? All right. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Daniel's parents refused to send him to school. Which right is Daniel being deprived of? Contestant number three. Education. The, the right, right of education. Ed that is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, mathematics, please. How many minutes are there from 10, 15 hours to 13, 25 hours? Contestant number three. Um, 190 minutes. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, science, please. What is the name of the galaxy that contains our solar system? Contestant number two. Um, the Milky Way. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science, please. This is your last question for the science segment. The uterus is an organ of which body system? The reproductive. One. The reproductive. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social so we've exhausted stuff. science and social studies, so you only have English and math to choose from. English. Which punctuation completes the sentence, help fire? Contestant number three. Of the exclamation mark. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, same English, please. In subject and verb agreement, if the subject is plural, then the verb must be something. Contestant number two. Plural. The that verb must be plural. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Maths. What is the value of 2 times 4 plus 41 minus open bracket 32 plus 11 close bracket? That's number 3. Um, 4. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be six. All right, let's proceed to English, please. Choose the best word to complete the sentence. The man was hospitalized as a result of the something. Contestant number one. The accident. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in English. Last English question. Choose a word that is similar in meaning to the underlined word. Roger is so obstinate he will not change his mind. Obstinate. Contestant number one. Stubborn. That is correct. Contestants, we always need to have our hands to the side. You cannot raise your hand, press on the buzzer repeatedly and expect that to be fair, all right? So we only have mathematics available, so we'll proceed to the next math question, okay? If one egg tray holds a maximum of 30 eggs, Approximate the number of trays that will be needed to place 153 eggs. Contestant number three. Six trays. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, Mats. When rounded off to the nearest $100, Lisa's annual salary is $43,800. What is her annual salary when rounded off to the nearest thousand? Contestant number one. Ah, uh, 4,000? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be 44,000. All right, $44,000 that is. All right, math please. An airplane was flying at 1,390 feet when a jet passed 465 feet above it. How high in feet was the jet flying at the time? Contestant number one. I 
5,469. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would be 1,855 feet. Last math question. Sonia bought a belt and a wallet. The wallet cost three times less than the belt. If the belt cost $2,760, how much did she pay altogether for the belt and the wallet? Contestant number 300, two. Wait, no. 900. 920. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It was asked for how much did she pay altogether oh. for the belt and the wallet. So the correct response would have been $3,680. All right. All right, so we have concluded this episode of WizKids and in the lead is contestant number three. Congratulations. How are you feeling, contestant? I'm feeling amazing. All right. And in second place, we have Ocean. And third place, we have Dan Danielle. <laughs> and in third place, we have Danielle. All right, contestants, how are you all feeling right now? Contestant number three. I'm feeling thankful. And I look forward to being in the next round. Awesome. Contestant number two. I know I know you're very competitive. We could tell. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm really thankful for this opportunity. Okay. That is that is a good thing to say. That's good sportsmanship. Contestant number one, how are you? This, this competition was very interesting and exciting for me. And this is the first time you've participated in Wiz Kids. Yes. You've already mm -hmm. participated in Spell It. All right. All right, contestants, thank you so much for participating. I hope this was an, um, a knowledgeable session for you. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Guyana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you in the next episode. I feel great about my performance and I feel ready to take on the next round. I'm looking forward to learning more and interacting with other children. I think they did very good and I know Max is very tricky so I wouldn't blame them. But I just want to congratulate them for making it into the show and doing very well. Well, um, I would like to tell them that you have to be fast to the bu buzzer. Even if you don't know the answer, just hit the buzzer Think a little bit and then give out the answer.